So my family and I are currently in a situation where we are considered homeless. We do not have a home. So a story about early college was actually a gateway for me to share with my friends what had been going on at home. Um, and I, I had shared that story and I remember my classmates stopping the camera, turning to me and said, Victoria, why didn't you share this with us before? So I told them, I said, I didn't tell you because I didn't think it was that important. I'm still the same person. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still Victoria. It just happens to be that one of the circumstances I had went through in my life, um, you know, put me and my family in that situation. So we had done the interview and the executive producer at Hiki No had said, um, you know, gone, he'd gone through the interview and saw the tidbit of gold in that interview and pulled that out to make that the bigger story. Um, and for us, that was a jumping point of where we should go further. So um, not just being the subject of the story, but also helping in the production, uh, I kind of pitched the idea like, hey, you know, I can show you where I used to live. So I brought my classmates to where I used to live just to shoot some B-roll. Um, they even caught some really good gnat sound. I didn't like going to school just because I was afraid that everybody would tease me because I like it. You know, bringing my classmates to where I lived, I think also helps them see what that story is like to physically be there um, and to help tell that story um, is an experience that I think a lot of storytellers need to have um, to put themselves inside the subject's shoes. It hurts me when somebody says, oh, look at that homeless dude sleeping on the sidewalk. You don't know their story. Don't judge them for what they, what they couldn't handle. I really think that this interview and this story was a vessel. It wasn't just about me. It was the bigger picture. You know, there were hundreds of students, thousands of students maybe across the state that are homeless and they still go to school, they still struggle, but they, they're trying their best to make sure that they can better themselves. And I'm just one of those people. After participating with Hiki No, um, it really influenced me in my career today. I saw how important it was to be a storyteller, to share people's stories, and that if I had a story to tell, that other people did as well. So I graduated in 2014 um, and went to school at University of Hawaii at Manoa. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do yet, so I decided to take both film and journalism because they were both passions of mine in high school. And then when I had graduated, um, I was still working at the at UH uh, as a um, student videographer for our department that I was in. And I had gotten a call from a friend of mine that I had met through my internship at Hawaii News Now and said, hey, we have a, a job opening, a producer job opening at KITV. Um, I remember just thinking like, you know, I don't have any experience as a producer. All I remember producing was a student broadcast that I had done in college. Um, you know, am I even qualified for this position? So I had taken the job at KITV and now I'm the producer for the uh, 6 p.m. show, uh, primetime Hawaii's only hour-long newscast. And um, it took a long time to get there and I'm still learning today as it is. She always does the on cameras perfectly. I really like when she does them. When I was first hired as a producer at KITV, I didn't know what they saw in me when they hired me. Um, I was just a student fresh out of college. I didn't have any experience as a producer. Um, and to take on a responsibility of putting together a newscast that people across the state can see was really, really, really nerve wracking. I, I had asked a couple of my colleagues, I said, you know, I had my doubts. I was like, you know, maybe I don't belong here or, you know, I'm, I'm younger than my anchors. Maybe they don't trust me. And he said, you know, they wouldn't have hired you if they didn't see something in you. And, you know, just going back to my roots as a, a storyteller in high school and in college, that that is true. You know, I have that potential that if I can see somebody's story, then why can't I do that for an entire newscast? That there are stories out there that are important. You know, and I think that they saw that. And I think they also saw my drive as a storyteller. Headroom on camera two. Headroom on camera two. I didn't think I'd be where I'm at today, and if it wasn't for Hikino, I really wouldn't be here at all. 
and just being able to you know share my story at the beginning and now being able to tell the community stories I think is an amazing feat. I think that if 17 year old me saw 24 year old me now she'd be super proud. Thursday night at 7.30 on PBS Hawaii.